Graham, I guess just um, looking back on that game the other night, um, what are the common denominators you're seeing right now, maybe between the last two games, why the, the passing production has just been so poor? What was that? Common denominators between gotcha. the last two games, why the passing production has been so poor. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, we, we just got to execute better, to be honest with you. And, and um, we talked about it as staff. If that means simplifying things, whatever we got to do, um, you know, with, with – uh, with kind of the shift in the lineup around, I think we got, you know, we had some guys playing position they hadn't played in the past, and possibly because of that, like um, some of the details weren't where they needed to be, you know what I mean, on, on just, just simple stuff like route depths or, or whatever the case may be, timing. And, uh, and that's on us as a staff to get it right and, and um, figure out where, where we're going to have the guys um, and get, get, get them reps with, with uh, get Hudson and the guys reps at, at those specific spots to make sure um, that we're dialed in. And then, like I said, just harp on the details of the, of, what we got to do in the past game to, to get it going. Are you seeing Hudson do more or less the things that he's supposed to be doing and it's, it's problems around him or is, is, is he part of this problem? I think it's a combination of both. Obviously, I think, you know, it's, you know, I don't ever think it's just one person or, or one position group or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, you know, at times I think that, uh, like I said earlier, but, because of you know maybe there's some uncertainty and and creates hesitation in his mind so then um you know that that that's an issue as well that we, that we got to get corrected so again i think um the thing's gonna that we got to do is just make sure that that uh we can we can correct some of the detailed stuff uh so that those guys feel feel extremely confident feel extremely comfortable in what we're doing and go out there and execute on saturdays What's your process for the start of games as a play caller? Are you someone who likes to script? Um, is it more organic for you? How, how do you kind of go in approaching how to attack teams? Uh, we for sure, we always, you know, like I said, have, have initial thoughts that we want to get to and, uh, and, and get in certain things just to see how they're lining up to something or, or whatever the case may be. And then, uh, like you said, like for the first um, series or two, like I said, we, we have plays like, oh, we, we got to get to this. Um, one, because we think we can execute it. Two, because, like I said, it might give us information on, on how we think they're going to play us for the rest of the night and uh, then try to attack them from there. Uh, just with missing the guys you are with, you know, Edger and, and C.J. Smith still, you know, not available yet, uh, how does that change what you're doing with in terms of going to your playmakers? I mean, it, are you going to concentrate more or are you, is this a time where you can kind of spread the ball out more and, and have guys step up? Yeah, I definitely think we got to do a great job of spreading the ball around. Um, Make teams defend the entire football, and uh, kind of like you said, like this is a great opportunity for that. I think that that in the past game, there's times where obviously we have something designed, trying to get somebody a touch, and then there's other times where I think the reads dictate where the ball goes, and and um, we got to do a great job, like I said, being dialed in, uh, going through our reads, being where we're supposed to be, and, and like I said, uh, when, when we're trying to get someone a touch, we got to we got to execute that and get that guy the touch, and if if we're trying to, uh, like I said, if it's just base pass game stuff like we got the reads oftentimes the defense or, or the coverage whatever the case may be dictates where the ball should go and we got to do a good job finding it and getting the ball to where it needs to be. Graham what do you think you can hang your hat on with this offense right now? Uh, you know I think the other night uh, we talked earlier just um, after the Notre Dame game I think that Notre Dame was was extremely physical um, uh, played really really hard and, and we challenged our guys as a team and obviously as an offensive unit like uh, the physicality um, has to be there. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you have to play extremely. Like, football is a physical game, and if, if we're going to be successful, then we got to be physical. And I think if you go out there and watch the other night, uh, you know, after the Notre Dame game, we didn't feel like, oh, there's a lot of things we did we need to build on. You know what I'm saying? It's like we got to improve at a lot of things. If you go watch the other night, like, we played really, really hard. Um, I thought we played really, really physical, especially up front. But, but even on the perimeter, um, like, those receivers blocking downfield, um, if you go back and watch, like they did some some really great things blocking downfield, and I think that's why uh, a lot of those runs, uh, you know, hit for more than just you know it goes from a five to ten yard run to really big runs um, because the receivers did an incredible job blocking downfield, and so those are the things that we have to continue to build on. I think, like I said, the running backs did a great job, the O line did a great job. We obviously ran the ball pretty successful, um, made way too many critical mistakes in 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 opportune times, and and so when we get opportunities, we got to make the most of them. Um, but like I said, coming out of the Notre Dame game, it was more like we got to challenge these guys and, and, and go out there and, and get them to play the right way. I think they answered that. Now we just got to clean up some, like I said, clean up mistakes, uh, make the most of opportunities, and, and, and get the pass game dialed in with details. And, and, uh, but you can build on what we did, especially in the run game, and just from, from an effort and a physicality standpoint the other night. How can you get Max Claremore involved? 
um, you know, Max is a guy that um, <laughs> he's a special, special talent. And so, you know, like I said, we, we, we try to get him the ball. Like we try, he's a guy that obviously we game plan touches for, and we're going to have to continue to do that. And uh, he's, a, he's a big part of what we're doing. Um, he'll be a huge part of what we do in the pass game, but he's also a big part of what we're doing in the run game. I, obviously, he has a lot of responsibility in that. And, uh, you know, that's the beauty of that tight end room. Those guys, those guys do some great things for us. Like I said, they, they're going to help us in the pass game. Um, they just, they, they're all bought, I mean, they're completely bought in, do what, they, do what we ask them to do in the run game. Um, because of that, uh, like I said, they, we couldn't be more happy with like the tight end room, just the, the type of kids they are, the type of players they are. And uh, like I said, we, we um, try to get max touches because I think he's a special player and we'll continue to do that um, in, throughout, like I said, whether it be screens, whether it be in the pass game, just, just trying to find ways to get him singled up, whatever the, whatever the case may be. Graham, how do you get off to better starts? I think back to the Indiana State game and it felt like at halftime there were some points that you left on the field. Obviously, Notre Dame, not a great start. Uh, you get the fumble in the red zone Saturday and then the, the fluky ball that bounces off a guy's leg and it just seems a snowball. But those are things that you can kind of get into what you want to do and dictate how you want to play the game offensively if you get some points early. For sure. I thought, you know, like you said, we get the, we get the fourth down stop the other night and that's, you know, we're talking about making the most of opportunities we get. Like, we got to get points there. And uh, to be honest with you, I thought the guys came out excited and did some really great things those first few plays. Um, we created movement, hit some big runs, and then we get to a third and one, and we make a mistake we can't make. Obviously, you can't ever put the ball on the ground, um, especially in the red zone, and take points off the board. And so, like, that's a critical mistake that, that um, we can't have. And then, like you said, I think the, the screen pass deal, the swing pass, I mean, that's, like you said, a fluky deal um, to seem to snowball. But uh, to me, the, the, they came out right, and I think we came out doing what we wanted to do, like right out of the gate on that first, that first drive. We just have to take care of the football right there. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, the, the first run, we popped for 10, 11, 12 yards. The next run, we popped for 7, 8, 9 yards, something like that. Um, we got to convert that first down and finish the drive. Uh, but the guys, I do think, like, they came out with the right mentality. They did some decent things there. Uh, we just, again, have to clean up, like, simple mistakes. We can't make mistakes that cost you football games, and that's what we did the other night. Two more questions for Coach Harrell.